or he's a guy who fell off a Coca-Cola truck out on the street, <laughs> or he's the groundskeeper that I woke up <laughs> when I was taking his picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> but if you you should look at that picture. But it is, in fact, what the title says. It's the it's the room where the bullfighter, where bullfighters die. I, I know, and there are a number of pictures. That, there's another one that's next to the, the spirit animal, um, just to the right of it. It's called the fallen angel, and I don't even remember taking that picture. But if you look at it, it is a skull that's looking at you. But if you just put your hand just over the skull, you'll see the back of another guy's head with his arms outstretched, reaching toward heaven, which, of course, is the fallen angel. You know, that's the whole story of the fallen angel. I had no consciousness at all of even taking the picture, much less, you know. But that, but that happens all the time with this stuff. And it's because you're accumulating time. And time, the accumulation of time sometimes says something far different than what you, what you think you're seeing. It just does. I mean, Tell what you did. I just took the picture. <laughs> you tell, yeah. Yeah, follow him. Yeah. But that's, I mean, but that's the guy on the gurney. I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's interesting, though, because there is, you know, what Sally has exposed here is that there's a lot of deliberation, that go, more deliberation that goes into these pictures than you might think. There are, uh, there are props to some degree. Well, there, there are models, uh, right? Well, no, there are moments that he finds, thinks this may be interesting. Right. And, so. and again, it's this business of being, it's, it's luck is being ready for the chance. Mm -hmm. You know, the... The Eternal Return, you know, the, which is the cover of the book. What that is, is I turn the camera upside down, uh, you know, f just looking straight up to the sky, and I have a little Christo, Christ figure, the hand carved in Mexico, and I just turned it upside down like this over the, the pinhole, and that's where that picture came from. There's another picture which I love enormously which is called meteor storm. It's the ship, you know, and you see the meteors and stuff. What that is, that's a little ship in a bottle. The ship is about that big. The bottle's about, it's actually small. It's about like this and about like that. Connie gave that to me years ago, and I just waded out into the Gulf of Mexico, held it by the deal, put the pinhole against the, the bottle, took a picture. And the meteor, what looks like a meteor storm, are actually flaws in the glass of the bottle. You know, so, yes, ma'am. The one with the man carrying the skull? That's, um, no, I think that really is a skull, and that's, that's on a parade in Mexico on Easter Sunday. So it was a religious parade. I'm not sure I understand the question. When, when I say feel, I mean, I, I try not to think. I get in trouble when I think. So just trying to go with it, and you know, and you just you're moved to, oh, that looks interesting, or you're drawn to that, you know. And so you, you just kind of go to it, and you try it this way. Well, maybe you try it this way. Maybe you try it this way. Maybe you come back and try it the next year, and so on. But it's always 
a bit of a surprise what shows up on the film. It's not the same, you know, as what you thought you were doing. Because, again, I'm speaking for myself, but, I mean, my eye simply cannot accumulate time the way the film can. The film takes every fragment of a second, and it locks it on that piece of film. My eye just it comes in and it goes out, and then it's, you know, I'm on to the next image. And it's, I don't think that's explaining maybe what you ask, but. I actually was just a part of a question. I was saying what's terrific that this is all, um, I think, given a chance. Absolutely. And, and, that, and that is the great joy, joy of it. You know, luck is being ready for the chance. So you walk by something, uh, the old man with the magic eye, is that in this show? Um, actually, Connie and I were down to Mexico. That guy was standing on the street. You know, he had one eye. Um, he was very generous to let me take a picture. I did not consciously see the woman step out behind him. And, of course, she stopped, She stepped out. She hesitated. She moved on. You know, and, but it's, it makes a nice picture. Again, there are hundreds and hundreds that didn't make nice pictures or didn't make pictures beyond just being okay pictures. Somebody had a question over here? Or maybe not. Can I make a, a comment on that? Um, recently, a, a photographer who's very well known for working with digital photography asked me to somehow be involved with his photographs or do some editing or something. And he was explaining to me his process, and, and he says, well, you know, I make about, I might take about 5,000 pictures in an afternoon. And so you're going to have to look through like tens and tens and tens of thousands. And it just made me think, I mean, you know, in his idea, well, of course you're going to get something good. And, you know, I think any, any one of us would get something good if we took 5,000 pictures each day. Even though Bill may have hundreds that um, are not what he wants to include in the book that might not be for whatever reason, I think that there's still, some, there's this, still this idea that there's chance, but there's also deliberation. And there's also experience and intellect that all come into the mix in terms of sort of where you go with that camera and what you decide to do with it at what moment that makes something. It's, this is a very, very different approach than just, you know, I'm going to click a thousand times and see what happens. No, it's not that. It's, I mean, you know, it, it's not that I don't feel responsible for it. It's just a part of me, you know, that, that I don't hold in my consciousness until I see the picture. And then I recognize it as a part of me. Um, and, I, you know, I, I pretty much think that's true in every serious creative pursuit. You know, it, that, uh, well, like Elizabeth, I mean, a novelist. I mean, you write and then you look at it and you say, you say, yeah. You know, there's some part of you that, that has brought this into the world, made it manifest, which is, you know, that's one of the great joys of a creative life, is to, you know, reach down, however well or not well you do, uh, into in your the depths of your soul, hoping that what you come up with somehow communicates to other people, because that's what artists are always, they, they want to belong. We want to matter to everybody, you know, through through our work. And if you can grab what's inside you and show it, it's also what's inside everybody else, because we're all we're all the same guy on, on this spinning planet. And however you get that, you know, I mean, I couldn't really get it consciously, so I started pursuing it, you know, unconsciously, saying, "Okay, I'm tired of thinking about this shit," you know. How about you do it? <laughs> you know, and uh, I think that's really kind of what we all do. I mean, we just pursue it from different angles, but that's what we're doing. We're just we're trying to say, hey, look at this. This might matter to you. You know, it might please you. It might make you think. Um, it might make you reject it. But in rejection, you define some portion of yourself. Um, No, I think so. Um, this is so, so have you, uh, I know that you're getting into digital pinholes, if I'm not mistaken. Stroke.
struggling. Yes. Have you seen any of that work that's good? No, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> If they sell. <laughs> Speaking of which, maybe we should go do books. <laughs> this is uh, any any last questions? In, in James Evans, do you have a question? Thank you guys very much, and let me also let me also thank Elizabeth and Steve. Um, who, who make my pictures shine with their words, and I am hugely appreciative. And let me thank also Connie, who makes this whole place shine with the staff. And so thank, thank you all very much.